welcome to mhr designer today we will be talking about three things first how we can make an animation or gif in figma second how we can use those animation or gif in your prototype like you can see and third how you can download the gif on your laptop or desktop directly from figma like exporting the gif directly from figma so these are the three things that we will learn and the most important of all is how we can actually make the animation and gif in figma so this that you can see right now in the screen is the gif that i have created and now i will teach you how we can do something like this so let's get started So first of all, to make an animation or GIF, you first of all have to make an illustration or SVG. You can make an illustration, you can download the SVG, you can um, make an SVG from Illustrator, you can make it in Figma itself. So basically, I want you to have an SVG in which you are having these kinds of vectors and not an image but an SVG. Now, after you have made this SVG, now to getting started, you have to download a plugin which is called Figmotion. Now, Figma has brought this new change. It has brought this plugin tool in the top navigation bar itself. You can go to plugin and search for Figmotion and you will see that this one over here is the one I want you to download. Now once you have downloaded or installed the plugin, now you have to select it, right click, go to plugin and go to fig motion and after going to fig motion, open fig motion. Now when your fig motion opens, your first target is that I want you to select those parts that you want to animate like you want the leaves to grow little bit or you want the uh, eyes to move you want this thing to move so whatever you want to move you can directly select from over here and that will show in your fig motion so first of all let's get started with the leaves now select I'll select this particular leaf and I want this leaf to grow so I'm selecting this leaf from here and you can see this blue dot is coming on the vector now after this vector is you have identified this vector is this one then you will click on this and when you are clicking then you will see that different kind of options have appeared. Now what I want you to do is that since I have already made this plugin so first of all I will remove all these things because this was from my previous um, animation that I made so I'll remove this and explain you from the beginning. Yes, now what I want you to do is that maybe you want to move this leaf, uh, you want to change the X or Y position or you want to show that the leaf is growing. So for that you want to increase the width and height. First of all we will go in width and I will click on this icon, this rhombus icon and then it will appear in 0 second. Show is, uh, so it shows that in 0 seconds the position of the width basically the width of the leaf is 113 so you will say okay now what I want is that I want that this thing should have um, like the animation should appear for one second so that is 1000 milliseconds so 1000 milliseconds so I want that the leaf should grow till 1000 milliseconds so it will grow for 1000 milliseconds and at 1000 milliseconds I want you to change this particular option so what we did is that we first selected this rhombus and in the initial position I said that in initial position the thing this stretch will be of 1000 milliseconds so when I made this 1000 then this blue line appeared okay and I changed nothing then in this also you have to change only one option in this 1000 millisecond I want you to change this width option everything will remain the same so I want the width you can say any random width so I will say 130 so increase its height also the leaf should increase its height also so I'll say uh, I'll select this rhombus I'll select the height is currently itna so then I will do over here till 1000 milliseconds I want so it will 
appear a, a blue line then you will select over here and then you will change it to maybe it's 174 right so i can make it 190 enter so now i have changed this now i will go to uh, this particular leaf and in this particular leaf i have already set the same width and height so you can do that again then we will go and i want to change the position of this eye the dot of the eye so this is a right eye you can name the vectors also i already name the vector so it's showing but if you even if you don't name the vectors you can already identify when you click over here it will already appear it will appear here it by itself so in the right eye i want to change the xy position i want to move the eye from oh, from this position basically to down so since i want it down so i will change its x and y position so i've already done this was 177 and what i did that in final position i made it 173 okay so similarly y position i changed its final position and i have done the same thing as i have shown so for the right eye i have done x and y position and also for the left eye you will see that i have done the x and y position it was initially 260 and i made it 255 so you can just uh, change anything and just check what is going right for you increase or decrease it and just a little bit increase and decrease and it will change its position okay so after doing that i have also changed the position of this particular thing the y position of this red dot and also the position of this red dot the y position and after doing all these things maybe i want this line to change as well so i will just select this and i will select the y point i will say over here i want the change in uh, 1000 milliseconds I will select this blue line appears i'll go in the end i will again click on the rhombus and then i'll say initially it is 422 i want the position to change very little so i will just say 425 and i'll press ok done so i have changed the position of few things now since we have done everything now what i want you to do is that we will press this render option so first of all it will render my gif now in render you it is giving option like gif mp4 so uh, i want to make a gif and not a mp4 and then i will enable the loop and auto download and insert in insert so what this option will do it will auto download and insert the gif in my figma and then from figma i can automatically download in on my desktop so let's just check this option also and the frame maximum uh, frame rate also i'm giving and then just click the render button so it will take some time and it will show the percentage and when it will be completed then you can see uh, actually view the animation that you have yeah so uh, the render is over so when the render is over then you will see that this thing will appear view last render and you will see that um, after you have viewed it and you uh, want you say that okay this is fine you can actually close it and when you close it you will see that this is since i have ch uh, checked on the box which said auto download and paste in figma so this is the gif that is auto downloaded um, this is the frame and this is the gif how you can identify you can see that there is a play button over here so this is basically your gif and also over here it's written gif so this is the gif now i have uh, you have understood how to make a gif and how now i will tell you the second thing that is how you can uh, use this gif in your prototype it is very easy you can just uh, whatever is a prototype if your screen is of iphone or whatever your screen is going on you just have to take the uh, gif and place it on the screen right now it is like an image you will think that no this will not move this is just an image but you see when you will play it then you will see that it will actually be made a uh, gif when you will play this on your uh, prototype version so you'll see that it will become a gif so let it load so that was the uh, second thing that we were to do and the third thing that we are doing see this is now on your prototype so whenever you make a prototype your gif will actually move in your prototype done second thing is done now 
the third thing is that I want you to download. You want to download this on your desktop and use it somewhere else. So just click on this particular thing. Now you can see you can go to the plugins tool and you can press export GIF. Now export GIF. This particular GIF export is a very nice plugin. And you can directly uh, select get uh, select this particular GIF and directly search it the G, uh, plugin, and then you can click run. And over here there are two options: play GIF, export GIF. When you click on export GIF, so you can actually download it on your desktop. Done. So the three things that I have taught is making GIF, downloading GIF, and using the GIF on your prototype. So please subscribe the channel, like the video and be updated by all my new tips and tricks.